God has rejected Obasanjo and Buhari. Solution lies with one man. Nigerian prophet declares, hello, my wonderful people, it's happening. So God has rejected uh, Obasanjo and Buhari. You know, when you look at people who have ruled Nigeria in one time or the other, you wonder truly if, you know, they have good intention for the country. Yes, you wonder truly, really. I mean, every other person has not been as bad as Buhari's time. Buhari's own is worse because of his mindset. Buhari is an archaic man who still believes that his um, position, his aspiration, and um, his desire, talking about tribalism, um, the way he... Can you notice that Buhari's wife, in the first person in history, that your wife, as prestigious as that position is called the first lady of a nation, left him. The first in history in Nigeria. The first in history in Nigeria. Do you know the wife has been out now for over a year? She left for about six months before Buhari traveled the other time. Yes, and when Buhari traveled, she quickly came, did a book launch and traveled again. Before, before Buhari returned. Can you see that there is more to this than beneath the eyes? Let's understand what the prophet is saying about God's rejection on these two men. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. God has rejected Obasanjo and Buhari. Solution lies with one man. Nigerian prophet declares... Adedayo of the Christ Apostolic Church said Obasanjo was disobedient to God and the grace has left him. A clergy, a prophet, Prophet Shegun Adedayo, has stated that God has rejected former President Olusegun Obasanjo because he had an opportunity to clean up the mess in the country. In 1999, he failed to use the opportunity. The clergy added that God had also rejected President Muhammadu Buhari and has foreseen a crisis in the northern Nigeria, in the northern Nigeria, saying that the only man with a solution is one of the converters of the Yoruba, convergers of the Yoruba nation agitator, Professor Banji Akintoye. The prophet said those in an, said this in an interview. Uh, where it was obtained by Sahara reporters on Thursday. Speaking in Yoruba, Ade, Bayo, Ade Dayo of the Christ Apostolic Church said, Obasanjo was disobedient to God and the grace has left him. The prophet said, The Lord sent the host of heaven with many swords. The swords have gone back. There will be a crisis in the north, more than what you are seeing now. The people of Buhari will be no more. Where is the generation of Mutala Muhammad? Obasanjo was a believer, a beloved of God, but he was disobedient. The grace has left him. When he got there in 1999, when he was given the opportunity, that was when he gave Obasanjo the grace to do what was right. But he never did. Rather, he did the wrong things. And he told him he did not listen and he went to eat what he should not eat and do what he should not do. Solution will not come from him again. I am praying for Baba Akintoye, but Professor Banji Akintoye, I saw that they gave him a solution. That was why I said Sunday Boho and Ghani Adams should not fight each other. Fighting each other is another plea. To destroy the solution coming. What God sent Igboho to do is what he's doing. Let Ghani Adams and let people not let Ghani Adams not allow people to push him. I called Baba and Kintoye and I told him that he should warn Sunday Igboho to be very weary of people around him. There are people around him who are pretending. They should not let king and politicians divide you. And Sunday Igboho, you are the ones that God has given the glory in this struggle. It is the, the is this at the end that we will know what it's all about. 
So my people, you have heard it. They said the solution does not lie right now in the arms of, um, you know, uh, uh, the solution does not lie right now in the arms of Obasanjo. We see that Obasanjo is trying very hard. Yes, Obasanjo is trying to do what he can do. But the truth of the matter is Obasanjo right now may not be the solution because of many things. According to the man of God, he said Obasanjo disobeyed God in the past. And that's why God has taken away the glory. And the solution is neither with Buhari. I don't think we need a prophet to know that Buhari ain't got no solution for this nation. I don't think we need a prophet to know that. I don't think we need a prophet to know that Buhari is not the solution. Buhari is rather more of a divisional. He divides more than build. He's got no solution at all. And it's a sad reality that Nigerians thought that they had a person in 2015. You know, that's it's a very big lesson for every one of us to learn from. On a most sincere note, look is deceptive and don't let people bamboozle you with um with talks. You know, rather we should see beyond just the look of men, we should see beyond just what is happening, and we should look beyond and really, you know, give you know, give solution and give right to the right thing rather than allowing just looks and what we see. To be cloud our judgment it will not go very far i can assure you it won't go very far what we need to do is to ensure that we do not just judge by what we see for a book is not totally known by the cover you need to look beyond it's not just at the front of the cover that you know what is happening in the book you have to read that book you have to dig in and understand what is going on in that book that is where the true solution really and truly lies you see what is going on in this country if really you know all that has been said it is what it is then people must support sunday igoho people must support you know we must support those who have the solution who god has put it put it in their hands because all that is currently happening it's a clear indication that things cannot you know continue this way you know things cannot continue this this way if we continue to pretend that all is well then we are leaving ourselves to chance, which is not a way to go about everything that is happening. You know, it's not a way to go. We must all stand up and defend what is right. We must all stand up and do the right thing because a day will come. What do we leave for our children? A good man will leave something for his children. We'd like you to leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.